What's good, Fire Flamers? GSTV back with another Fire Flame Breakdown and Meltdown. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Turn your notification bells all the way up. And if you're new to the channel, stomp, step, and stand all over that subscribe button. Come over here and be a Fire Walker, Hawker, or Stalker. I don't know if y'all heard, but there's been a lot of things going on in the media, okay? So this might got by a lot of people. It might not. I just started out covering. Here we go. Tyrese is on the run. He's on the run. Okay, word is he left in the middle of a concert. Okay, the people looking for him. They want to serve him them papers. Okay, the word is he owe a lot of child support. Not only do he owe a lot of child support, okay, his baby mama also put a defamation lawsuit on him because he was on Instagram taunting her, popping shit. Okay, so right in the middle of a concert, as they were serving him the papers, he hauled ass. He ducked smoke. Okay, if that ain't a coward. Okay, but he telling everybody else to man up. He telling everybody else to man up, but he's a coward. See what I mean? I get it, I get it. We are living in the Time's Up and Me Too area, okay? And your ass going down and away from here, too, because you were all a part of the shit that was going on out there in Hollywood, too, right along with P. Diddy and all of them. That's why you was supporting P. Diddy, okay? And we're going to get on that any minute. I got the receipts. Okay, but you also owe a lot of money over there, to them other countries. Ain't that's where you at right now? Tyrese, you're in Kuwait, right? Right. Okay, and you over there living good, toying your baby mama while she up here trying to get funds for y'all daughter. Okay, and you ain't paying shit. You see what he doing, y'all? Look. Bro actually got the nerve to say, wait for it. Kuwait, okay, but his lawyers and them claiming that freaking frequent flyer miles and shit covered the cost of the flights, and he was staying at a friend house, okay, yeah, a friend house, my ass, staying in the whole suite, and you see, when you dealing with the powers that be, you can't escape them. You can't escape him. All right? He said he wanted to visit Kuwait since he was 15 years old. Y'all believe that shit? Okay. So now he decides to visit Kuwait. Kuwait. In the midst of all this shit that's coming out about him. And in the midst of them trying to serve you papers for that lawsuit and you ducking that child support okay all these years that you been out here taking trips here trips there trips there trips there now all of a sudden you haul ass to kuwait right let me tell y'all where why he's went over to kuwait y'all because he's hiding fucking money He's hiding money, okay? The word is allegedly on the back end. He's hiding money over there in these other countries, okay? He's over there doing all kinds of lavish things, okay? All kind of expenses, okay? And we all know his income ain't even built like that. He ain't even moving like that. But you see, he's been protected by these people for far too long, for a very long time, okay? All right, let's just keep it real, y'all. He ain't been the same since Paul Walker. 
got taken out. Hit the like button. That's right. Paul Walker was his best friend. Okay. And allegedly, he knows what they did to Paul Walker. Okay, and he ain't never been the same since. Okay, some people say he haven't never he never recovered from that. He never recovered from the Paul Walker situation, y'all. Okay, that shit fucked him up real bad. It fucked him up bad. Okay, it fucked him up so bad he even admitted to some of the things that he was involved with out there with Diddy. Look at this. <laughs> What I can't do and what I won't do is downplay the laughter, the fun, the energy, the inspiration, the award shows, the studio sessions, the most legendary parties. You see that? The most legendary freak-offs and events I've ever attended in my life. You see? Okay. Another black man supporting this dumb bullshit out of all the people. In the industry, he had to open his big fat fucking mouth. You know why? Because they blackballed his ass. Okay, for the same reason. Okay, he was coming out talking about how Hollywood was prejudiced and racist. And he was upset with Hollywood because the fucking shit his own ex wife or girlfriend, whoever she is, came out and said destroyed his career and destroyed everything that he was about to do in an instant. No, you destroyed everything you was about to do in an instant. Remember? Man up. And that's what you told the other men? Told the other men to shut the fuck up and man up, right? Now you shut the fuck up and man up and pay that money and stop hiding. Over there in them other countries. Okay. Stop hiding over there in them other countries. Look, on Monday, May 13th, he began posting random moments of his arrival in Kuwait. Where he greeted fans and enthusiastic met the country's ruler. Okay. You see, this is... I'm here, you're not. I got this, you don't. I could do what I want, you can't. Who's going to stop me? Not you. You see? Right in the middle of a concert. And we all know he can't afford to be walking out in the middle of no motherfucking concerts. When you owe 10 million motherfucking dollars. Okay? But you were smart enough. You were smart enough to get up out of there. Look at this, y'all. Okay, his security came up on the stage, okay? And be like, yo, bro, the people here, this motherfucker still had the microphone in his hand going all the way out. The concert, singing, never told nobody where he was going, never told nobody he was leaving, okay? These people paid all their money to see him perform and sing, and this is what he do to his crowd and his fan base. You see, his reputation is done. He even said it. Look at the top right there. I got nothing to lose but my mind and my reputation. And neither one of these are no longer up for grabs. It's too late for that. Okay, I think this um, stuck a fork in you, buddy. Hit that like button. Okay, because see, these people in power have all kinds of strategic ways to bring your ass down. Okay, and while they were in the middle of bringing down P. Diddy, and go Tyree's big fucking mouth. Okay, I love this brother. Tyrese, okay, definitely supports Diddy all the way, right? I guess you support the other bullshit that came out about Diddy too. Okay. Tyrese Gibson is done living in fear. Okay, so why the fuck you leave? Why you haul ass? Okay. Look what it say at the bottom. 
did you tell my ex to be more private? <laughs> Look at her. In 2017, when her accusations rocked my life, my career, my marriage, and my opportunity. <laughs> Every opportunity. In one instant, in 2017, right? Let's all admit, your shit been rocked, been killed before 2016 and 17. This ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new, Tyrese. Okay, but like I said, the word is he's hiding money over there, and he know it. That's why he ran straight over there. Okay, so he don't want the people to keep tabs and dibs on what he's spending and how he's spending it in the U.S., so that's why he ran out. Okay, that's why he over there. Okay, we all know all these stars, all these entertainers and shit, they do shit like that, hide money and assets in other countries, all the assets and shit, okay? When they try, when uh people be trying to sue them, they hide their money, okay? See these people up there, all right? Yeah, they hiding money for them. Why is you in... Kuwait all of a sudden right now you had time to go there your whole life you gonna wait till you get in the middle of some legal shit and decide to go to Kuwait right I guess he think he's safe over there okay he just said It's the time up era. Okay, and time's up for a lot of people. Okay, Floyd Mayweather going through the same thing. He over in Dubai, y'all. I believe he's still over there. Okay, he owes the people all that money. You see, these people don't have as much money as you think they have. They might have a lot of credit. They might have a lot of extended hands of credit. But they don't have as much money as they think, as you think they have, y'all. Okay, y'all know the saying over here, a broke motherfucker, a, a believe anything you tell them, and a rich motherfucker, a buy anything you sell. And that's a fact. Okay, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, stomp, step, and stand all over that notification bell. Always remember, fear the fire and fear the flames. Feel free to support the Cash App at GodFear316 or at PayPal Fear the Fire Flames. Thank you, everyone.